So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I'm an avid snowboarder. And because it's winter now in New England, I've decided to put the ski racks back on the bends. Hey, what's up guys? It's Flex and welcome to another episode on my channel where we give you Mercedes how-to videos and other cool car videos. So I've been getting a lot of people asking, when are you going to put the ski racks back on? So I've decided it's about time. But before I do, I want to do a four-part video series on the components that you need to basically allow you to use a ski rack or snowboard rack. So in part one of the series, this video, I'm going to show you how to install carrier bars, or they also call them crossbars. These are essentially the bars that run horizontal on top of your vehicle. So that way you can install a ski box, a ski rack, a bike rack, a kayak rack, you name it. So the carrier crossbars that I bought, um, I bought on eBay, and they're actually Mercedes genuine products. I prefer to use this versus the universal one because... Uh, they're Mercedes products, they guarantee to fit, and also at the same time, you can still use your sunroof while having those crossbars on top of your car. Some of the crossbars out there that are universal, they tend to look kind of goofy. They kind of stick out beyond the actual width of your car, which I think doesn't look so good. So, let's get to the install. First thing you need to do is check your roof to make sure you have four of the mounting holes for the crossbars. Here are the crossbars, it comes in two sets. You get the set for the front and a set for the back. That's the crossbar, you get two legs, you get the hardware, and you also get the key for the locking mechanism. So to install the crossbar, uh, first thing you need to do is just install the rubber piece for the top of the crossbar. All it is is just push it into a channel that's on top of the crossbar and it will uh, stick right in. If you have excess rubber, you can go ahead and trim it right off with a pair of scissors. Next is to install the screw bolts used to mount the legs to the roof. So for each of the legs, you're gonna run a bolt into this kind of black handle that says top on the top of it. Slide that through. And next you wanna put the washer Take that whole assembly, stick it into the hole of the leg, and then uh, put the rubber grommet on the bottom to hold everything in place. Repeat that for all four legs. Now you want to install the legs onto the crossbar. You do that by taking this notch, inserting into the bottom of the crossbar and twisting. And then you want to insert the bracket that will hold the leg onto the crossbar. That bracket is actually held on by two Allen screws um, on the actual leg itself. So one is already inside the leg, the other one you're going to have to uh, hand tighten. You want to hand tighten it enough, but you don't want so much that it's really tight because you will need to adjust this later. As you can see, I want to keep them loose so we can adjust it later to the length on the car. Now you can go ahead and mount it on your car. Just try to aim those bolts right in the center of the mounting holes. Go ahead and twist the bolt in. Twist it, hand tighten it as much as you can. If you're having some trouble, just lift up that little lever so it gets out of the way. But that lever is used to basically tighten it even further um, if you can't hand tighten it. Once you tighten it enough with that little lever, you can pick it up and set it off to the side. Go ahead and repeat it from the other side as well. Now that the uh, crossbars are fully mounted, you can go ahead and tighten those two Allen screws on the legs. 
once that's fully tightened, replace the side covers and lock them in place with the key. Go ahead and repeat this for the other set of the crossbars and you're all set to go.